everybody. It's Becky from the Painted Stone Cottage. I just figured I would take this time to catch up with you and say a little prayer for our nation and the rest of the world as we're going through this uh, mini pandemic right now. Um, first of all, I haven't done a video since August because we've had a lot going on in our lives and a lot of distractions. So I'm sure I'm very behind on everything that's going on. Although I have been watching all of you on my Facebook or on my, uh, uh, gosh, what is it called? On my YouTube channel. Goodness, my brain's not even functioning right at this point. So I'm staying up to date on my videos. I'm just behind on making them. Um, right now, uh, we all have this uh, Corona virus going around and uh, our whole world is living in a state of panic. I'm a little, I, I'm a little worried myself. My husband flew out for San Francisco uh, this past Monday. I think that was the 12th, and he is not due to come back until next or this coming Monday. But because they're talking about shutting down the city, and everybody is buying everything out, you know, um, they are trying to get early flights home so <laughs> uh, I just got a message from him stating that they shut the job down early he is an airbrush artist for Studio 41B and they do uh, Legoland Disney uh, what else um, Bass Pro Shops uh, the uh, escape rooms, laser tag arenas, they build and do all the airbrush work. They're, they're facade artists, basically. <clears throat> so they are in California doing the touch-up painting and assembly of the new uh, Legoland that is, or Legoland, I don't know what it is. It's not really a Lego land that you go and do stuff at. It's just like a Lego land where they put together a bunch of buildings and different stuff, you know, and it's really cool looking so far. But it is opening up at the new super mall out there. And so my husband had to fly out so they could finish the assembly and touch up painting. And because everything's in a panic and they're shutting down flights and stuff, uh, they're trying to get home so that they aren't there during, I don't know, martial, if martial law gets declared or, you know, the whole city is actually shut down and everybody's quarantined to their homes because <clears throat> they're stuck at a hotel and already the grocery stores are, are empty, just like they are here. But this is Florida, so we're used to the panic down here every hurricane season. Everybody goes and wipes out everything because, you know, we don't live here and apparently, you know, or we do live here, but apparently we never learn, you know, or at least a lot of people don't learn. So they wipe out everything, milk, bread, you know, anything that they can get their hands on that's quick and easy. Water, bottled of water. <laughs> uh, but... We're used to this and, you know, so it's nothing new for us to go to the stores and see, see everything knocked out, you know. But in California, when you're away on a job, it could be a little scary. And the possibility that he could be stuck there for an extra week or two weeks or a month is just not acceptable to me. And, uh, nor him, and he's freaking out a little bit. Uh... They even look, they've looked into renting a larger SUV or something like that so that they could even drive back. And everything is rented. You know, so that's already locked out. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully he'll be home <laughs> so that I'm not having to go through the next month or however long by myself out here. Um, I, I drove to town today. I wanted to put some gas in the truck and um, I wanted a pack of bologna because once in a while I just crave a pack of bologna and uh, <laughs> Walmart 
is mad crazy. It's like so packed with people and there is nothing on the shelves. I was able to get one pack of Oscar Mayer beef bologna and it was five forty seven. dollars Yeah, that's ridiculous. I've never paid that for bologna. Why are our prices so high suddenly? Usually I get that pack of bologna for two something. I think like two eighty nine. dollars You know, but thankfully we're homesteaders. We grow all of our own food, you know, uh, so we don't have to worry too much about it. I can and uh, dry and, you know, I make soups and stuff like that. I'm always working on something to store up for the winters and stuff and anything that can happen. So I have been in that mode my whole life for, I think my grandfather uh, instilled this in me to where he was always so worried about things. So I have grown up always preparing for the next big disaster that usually never hits. But on the bright side, my kids didn't grow up eating fast food and all the crap in the grocery stores. They have grown up on garden vegetables and uh, home cooked meals, <clears throat> homemade breads and stuff. Um, now, the world being in such a panic and everybody wiping everything out and getting in fights in the stores is absolutely ridiculous to me. It's a virus. You know, go home, stay away from people, wash your hands, and take care of yourselves and enjoy some time with your family. Read your children a book. Uh, get a jigsaw puzzle. I always have jigsaw puzzles in my house. I buy several every year so that I have something to do when it's really boring. But I'm usually so busy that I don't get time to uh, work a jigsaw puzzle because I've got so much going on with the B&B &B and the homestead. Uh, I had three guests have canceled out on me this month because of the virus. Uh, two of them were coming here for the big Sebring race uh, that takes place in Sebring, Florida every year. And people fly, fly in from all over, the, all over the world for that, which of course is not... <clears throat> possible at this point with that race would have been scheduled for next week and there's no international flights coming in uh, which is great that took them long enough I'm glad that they stopped that um, but yeah uh, one of them was a professional photographer that covers the event and the other was a, a spokesperson for it or something uh, I can't remember what they call her Excuse me. I've been in my garden all morning, so I'm exhausted at this point. Um, but the virus has definitely taken a foothold down here in Florida. And uh, we're trying not to stress about things. You know, I just... That's my husband checking in with me and filling me in. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, okay. They were able to switch their flights from Monday till tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. out of San Francisco. They are uh, taking the long way around, apparently. He'll have to switch planes a few times and have an hour layover in Chicago. So, barring anything happens between now and 7 a.m., my husband will make it home tomorrow night. Thank God he is not going to be on lockdown in some other state. <clears throat> and uh, they've shut the job down early. And getting themselves packed up tonight. So, thank God. God is good. He's answering our prayers right now. It would suck if uh, our company's whole crew was stuck out in California during something like this. You know, it's like you just never know what's going to happen. And it was, a, it was a scary thought for all of us wives that, you know, we're like, wow, we're here dealing with the craziness in our own county by ourselves with our children. And, you know, <laughs> and the thought that our husbands could be, you know, trapped there in California is just scary. Um, especially with so many people and so much craziness going on right now. Excuse me. <laughs> Tearing my house up. Um, but anyhow, everybody just stay home and enjoy some home time because the world 
is always, the world is always moving so fast. Everybody's always too busy. Take that time to learn something new. Um, enjoy your family, you know, watch some TV, you know, get in some good movies and stuff like that with your kids and grandkids and just, you know, surround yourself with your family only. Stay away from everybody so that we can help keep the spread of this virus down while we go through this until, you know, things get better. And here we will continue working on our garden and growing things and fixing everything that is breaking around here because, well, for one thing, the, one of the reasons why I haven't been on since August is because um, we, have, we had a big hole in the roof of our garage from a storm that we had to get repaired. And that's uh, a pretty penny. Um, a washing machine that I just bought last year has decided that it's not going to lock, so therefore the machine won't run. So I gotta replace my washing machine now. Uh, the boat motor on, on or, yeah, the motor on the boat, or the, the boat motor has decided that it was going to quit running on my husband and, uh, while he was on plane. That is never a good thing, and we're looking at three to six thousand dollars to fix that. And uh, the truck started acting up day before yesterday because you know my husband's not here and uh, I'm alone and I don't know anything about trucks. I could change the oil and a tire. That's it. Uh, but it started sputtering and acting weird. And then when I made a left-hand turn, there was a loud pop under the hood. I made it home. And it seems to be okay now. I'm not sure what that was about. I felt under the tires and nothing seemed loose, but that's how it goes. So right now we're looking at, you know, in repairs for, let me see, let me see. The boat thing is probably about three to six. The roof on the garage is 4,000. We've got the quote on that. And then who knows what's wrong with the truck, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not gonna be cheap. Uh, and a new washing machine, so. Yeah, a few thousand dollars out the window again. As soon as you start getting ahead, uh, life smacks you back down because that's just, you know, the, that's the fun and game of it. <clears throat> but we'll keep pushing through and hopefully things will get better and this country won't be shut down completely for very long and maybe with stores closing early and stuff like that, we got a message, our Walmart is closing at midnight and opening at 6 a.m. So maybe they'll have time to get some trucks in and get some stock back in. You know, everybody calm the hell down. Stop buying all the toilet paper. This virus doesn't cause you to go to the bathroom. There's no re reason for you to have a stockpile of toilet paper that you are not gonna make it through in a year. That's insanity. Stockpile of some food, some flour, you know, some sugar, stuff you can use at home to make yourself some food. Uh, this country just, it goes from one drastic thing to the next as to what they're going to mad stock during a, a panic. Uh, Florida, we have our hurricane season and it's water, bread, and all that stuff, you know, gasoline, and apparently cigarettes. Those are the big things here that everybody stockpiles and potato chips because, oh, and booze because everybody has a hurricane party and they need snacks and booze. Uh, I'm sorry. We put our shutters down and lock ourselves in during a hurricane and that's that. We don't want any extra people at our house partying. We don't party anyways. Uh, a party for us, my husband drinks a beer once every six months, and uh, I might have a mixed drink. We're not partiers. We had our youth for that. Now we're just trying to uh, make it into old age without destroying our livers and minds. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyhow, I just want to wish everybody luck during this virus, and we are, pray we are saying prayers for this world. You know, especially across our nation. Everybody, please stop panicking. It is a scary thing when something like this happens. But, uh, stop buying toilet paper. That's, that's stupid. You know, <laughs> just stupid. Anyhow, thank you for watching us. And, uh, follow our channel. Subscribe. Hit the like button. And I will try to get some more videos out really soon. Thank you.